In this lesson, you'll learn to find a missing factor when the other factor is 7, which we show like this. We want to answer the question, 7 times what number equals 21? When 7 is the known factor, there is no single pattern that will help you remember the missing factor. But there are some things that should help. There are two groups of facts that use a similar approach. This example is in the first group. The strategy for this group of facts is based on the sum of the digits in the product. In this example, the product is 21. If we add the digits in 21, we get 3. That's the missing factor. Here's a similar one. 7 times an unknown number equals 42. To find the answer, we add the digits in the product, which is 42. That means the missing factor is 6. Here's another one. In this example, the product is 63. If we add the digits in 63, we get 9. That means the missing factor is 9. This does not work for all missing factors with 7. So how do you know when to use it? Here's how. You start by adding the digits in the product. If the sum is 3, 6, or 9, you use this approach. The best way to remember this is to remember that it works for 3 and the two multiples of 3, which are 6 and 9. This does not work for any other missing factors with 7, so let's look at them next. Here are three other facts. What's important in these facts is that the product in each one is an even number. An even number is one that you can divide by 2. So, let's divide each product by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 28 divided by 2 is 14. 56 divided by 2 is 28. Let's see how this helps. When you divide 14 by 2, you get 7. That means 2 and 7 are the factors of 14. So the missing factor is 2. When you divide 28 by 2, you get 14. 14 is an even number also, so we divide by 2 again, and we get 7. To get to 7, we divided by 2 two times. Dividing by 2 two times is the same as dividing by 4, so the missing factor is 4. Now, the last one. When you divide 56 by 2, you get 28. When you divide 28 by 2, you get 14. When you divide by 2, you get 7. To get to 7, we divided by 2 three times. Dividing by 2 three times is the same as dividing by 8, so the missing factor is 8. There are only two remaining missing factor facts with the number 7. The first is 7 times an unknown number equals 35. For this one, you can recall that the only way you can have a product that ends in 5 is to multiply an odd number by 5. These are odd numbers and each product ends in 5. 
So when you see this problem, you can see that the product ends in 5. So the missing factor must be 5. And now the last fact. This is one you just have to remember by practicing it. 7 times 7 is 49. In the rest of this lesson, you'll fill in the missing factor in multiplication statements like these.